That is starting to look like porn. That is definitely look. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, just don't Go, think about pull it. Pull it back a little bit, Game Freak. Pull it back. What? Chancy burps for Grey Justice. Alright, no, what were the two videos that we just watched? Okay, we just watched Pokemon Generations, episodes 9 and 10. First one being The Scoop, and this one being, uh, uh, Juon 4, The Grudge, Feat apparently. Featuring Chansey. Featuring the cutest Chansey I've ever seen. Our goddess and savior. And a food fetishist. <laughs> right? A food um, fetish ghost. Alright. No, I would say it's like your favorite out of these two. I don't know. I'm, I'm giving props to Game Freak for focusing on Gabby and Ty rather than Zinnia. It's yeah, Ty. It's Gabby and Ty. I'm trying to concentrate. Sorry. I thought this was going to be about Zinnia. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Fuck Zinnia. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know, she could still appear. And then... Mm. I don't know. As a whole, I was really hoping that we would see the uh, the partner trainers as part of Gen 4, so I immediately got that, so... We might get, like, Buck or, like, Riley next episode. Yeah. But the fact that we even got one of them makes me really happy. I was really hoping we could see them. Makes sense. I remember that one of them showed up in the anime before. Cher Cheryl was ac was actually in the anime. Yeah, I Cheryl remember. was there. Was it Cheryl who was actually the one there? No, it was, like... Was there another it one? It was, like, yeah, there was another one. Riley. Riley showed up, the Lucario guy. Riley, uh, there was another one. There was a girl. Wait, no, I don't think Riley showed up because there was a character that looked like Riley, who was in the movie, who who's ca who's called like Prince Aaron or something, and he had a Lucario. I could have sworn and he looked exactly like Riley. I could have sworn there was a certain episode in Diamond Pearl where there was a Lucario there, and they were in the uh, that uh, island, I Steel Island. Somewhere. I don't remember any of that season, so you you'd have to be the one to tell me. Yeah, I do remember something like that. Although, mm, my memory's getting jogged. Is it? No, it's a little bit clogged with the movie as well. But yeah, there was another girl who were, uh, they featured Shaman in the anime. Not, not the movie, but the actual anime episode. But yeah, aside from that, um, who it's, it's definitely a tough call because I like their approach with episode 10, but I do like the space battle a lot more. Oh, here we go. I'm oh so my god. I'm so glad that they did this instead of Zinnia. Oh, wonderful. Look at it, it's glorious. Space Mewtwo for the win! Oh, this music! Ooh! That remix! You put anything in space for me and I'm gonna love it. Right. Definitely, like, showing that battle of uh, Deoxys versus Mega Rayquaza. Yo, Deox- Oh Look my at god! That big fuck off hand! Whoa! Oh Attack yeah! Form. Oh shit! I need to see that defensive form. Oh, there's the attack form. I was looking at speed form earlier. Man, they were they really gonna show all of its forms except for defense? Hey, hey, hey! Don't attack the trainer. Jeez. There it is. Yeah, Deoxy's nearly. Pimp smack Brendan off of that satellite. That was crazy. Like, hey, hey, easy. And I liked how casual of a toss that looked like. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Good job, Brendan. Nice. She trying to capture Deoxys. It's like, meh. I guess. It's only just a legendary Pokemon from space. And first try, too. First try. I mean, granted, like, with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, like, the catch rate for Rayquaza was, like, nerfed down so you can capture it in one hit shot, but Deoxys is still legendary and was pretty much near impossible without a Master Ball. One thing I like about the Pokemon anime is that you get to see Pokemon that you normally view as being ferocious, like Gyarados or, like, Hydreigon or something, mm -hmm. and you get to see them acting, like, really chummy with their trainers. Yeah. I would love... Just for an instance, for the opportunity to see Deoxys acting chummy with its trainer, because it's so, like, emotionless and inhuman. It's just very cool. You did great, Deoxys. Just wraps you in its <laughs> tentacles and, like, just like, okay, it's good, it's enough love. Yeah. Just, like, I do like Deoxys as, like, 
even more of a mystery than, say, Mew or Mewtwo. Yeah. I really feel like the natural progression of Pokemon is that they're going to start doing more stuff with, like, like other dimensions, which is already happening, mm-hmm. and outer space. I feel like outer space is kind of, like... That's the next level. Yeah. I, I can't help but feel like there's going to be, like... Do you remember Olympia's gym from Gen 6? Gen 6. Yeah. The psychic gym that was like the walk, the oh, floating man. puzzle in space. That was the best spectacle of that game. Oh my gosh. And like when you turn the 3D on, that was so amazing to look at. It's really good. Definitely my favorite just to go through. Very cool. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, definitely uh, episode 9 was my favorite. But episode 10 was really good too. In fact, that like it showed uh, Cheryl, right? Cheryl. Yeah. And Chansey. Look at that Chansey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Boy, oh. I know. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. That Chansey stole the show. Goodness gracious. Right. <laughs> it didn't even say Chansey. Wonderful. Yeah. I'm just imagining a Chansey in a Pokemon Center just humming all the time. Just joyfully humming all the time. Also... I would give my left nut to eat a Chansey egg. I bet it's the most delicious object in the world. Chansey is soft-boiled. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. What Do you think... Was that little girl at the end... Like, just judging from the Ooh. shape of her eyes, was she supposed to be indicative of Rot- Rotom? I don't think so. I don't think Rotom... the old guy was Haunter. What? <laughs> is it Rotom? Um... I wouldn't say so. Hunter, it's Hunter. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, but like, I don't know who the little girl is. All I know is that like, the eye lining that was red did not. Ugh. Ooh. What does this mean? No, 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 no. Nah. Stop. Let's not do this. No, please. Oh, it's the chick from Ergo Proxy. No. 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 Oh, you don't think that the shape of the eyes kind of resembled Rotom a little bit? Mm-mm. No, I no? wasn't really I wasn't really paying attention. I was just like seeing the entire picture and I was just, just it's like, I wanna get in your Pokedex and say snarky shit at you. The Very Pokedex cool. does say, say a lot of, like, dark stuff. Very cool. But yeah, like, the, the direction for episode 10, like, it's beyond what, we've, we, what we would see in Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know what was up with that, like, food scene. I'm glad it was there. Yeah, it was so strange because, like, you see them eating, and obviously it's not there. And obviously, Hancho was, like, really enjoying it. And it's they, like, like mm. go into gruesome, like, detail of, right. like, each and every bite. It's like... Like, damn, like, it really, it really made you uncomfortable to watch, which I feel is the point. Right. Which is very cool. Right. And the fact that they continue eating, and then, uh, Chansey had that, uh, reaction of a burp. Yeah. And somehow that just kind of broke everything. That was weird. But yeah, and then, uh, they got caught up in the nightmare. They wake up. They're in the old chateau the way it should be. And then, of course, Ghost Girl comes in. Really just freaks me out. Yeah. <laughs> Those floating feet. <laughs> Never a good sign. Like, like ghost stories and little girls should never be a thing, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Specifically little girls in white dresses holding something. You mean Lily in her mysterious bag? <laughs> What's in the bag, Lily? <laughs> Probably Cosmog. Probably Cosmog. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll smell you later. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> Let me watch the latest trailer for this.